Hello! In this video, we're going to learn how to fit curves. We're first going to learn how to fit polynomials using the numpy polyfit function. Polyfit models coefficient values for a polynomial and then passes them on to poly1d. NumPy poly1d creates a function using the coefficient values. This new function, when given x values, provides back modeled y values. We'll then learn how to write custom models that are not polynomials using the curve fit function from SciPy. So let's get started. We first need to import pandas in order to read in our data. The data that we'll be working with today is called mystery. It's a CSV file. It's a mystery because we need to uh, create a model for this mystery data. So we use read CSV to read in our CSV file. Then we use the pandas function to functions to take a look at our data. We use head to look at the first lines of our data. The columns are x vowels and y vowels. We can use tail to see how many rows that we have in this data. And we have 300. So let's take a look at what this data looks like. We first need to import uh, matplotlib. as PLT and always remember the inline as well. And then we can use PLT scatter and we can take a look at what our data looks like for the X vowels and then for the Y vowels. So we hit shift enter and it looks suspiciously like the CO2 data that we were looking at before. Um, an exponential or um, uh, polynomial increase uh, in values, but then um, these uh, oscillations that are happening as well. So let's start fitting curves. We're first going to try to fit polynomials uh, to this graph. And of course a polynomial won't necessarily get all the squiggles, but it will probably fit this overall curve that we're looking at. We're first going to use the polyfit function from NumPy. So let's import NumPy. And then let's use polyfit. What polyfit is going to do is it's going to create, it's going to try to model the coefficient values of a polynomial that we specify. What you give the polyfit function is x values. So we just give it the x vowels to use. We give it the y vowels to use. So it's modeling y as a function of x, but we get to choose the degree of the polynomial. If we choose one, that would just be a line. So let's look at the output of the polyfit function. We've created this variable in, and you can see we get two numbers. This is the slope. And this is the intercept of the line. Uh, you can see that uh, 318 is, is approximately where the intercept would be. We could do a second order polynomial. And then these would be the coefficients a, b, and c. This would be the coefficient for the x squared value, the coefficient for x, and then uh, the intercept as well. And we can keep on increasing. We can go to third degree. This would be for x cubed, squared, x, and intercept. Um, and you can just keep on going to um, extremely high values and get lots and lots of coefficients back. Let's put this back to something reasonable, just like a line, a first order polynomial. And then once we have our coefficients from polyfit, we then pass them on to poly1d to create a function. So we call up the uh, numpy poly1d function. And all we do is we just give it the coefficients. Function is now a function. It takes x values and based on the order and the coefficients will provide modeled y values uh, for your polynomial. Um, so that's really simple. Poly fit, x values, y values, order the polynomial. It returns to you your coefficients. All you do is you give your coefficients to poly1d and poly1d will create a function. Let's, though, look more in detail about how these different polynomials would fit with our data. 
So let's just copy and paste this here and our function here. And then let's create uh, modeled X and Y values. So let's create um, modeled X vowels for our model. So these are modeled X vowels. And we're going to use linspace from uh, NumPy again. And we're going to take the minimum uh, value of X vowels. And then we're going to go to the maximum value of X vowels. Sorry. And then let's go, we're going to create 1,000 values. So those are our uh, X vowels. And now we create some model Y vowels. And this is really easy. All that this is, is it will be our function. And into our function, we put the model X vowels. And then now we have real data and we have um, model X vowels and model Y vowels. So let's plot both of them. We'll superimpose the model values on our actual data. So uh, we call PLT scatter up and we can just uh, take this actually. And so this will be our uh, real data. Let's make it a little lighter. And then we can create a second graph, which will be our model data. And let's give it a different color. And let's make it a little um, bigger. And then uh, let's give our graph some labels. We'll have plt.x label. We'll just call these x values. And then we'll have um, a y label. And let's give our graph a title as well. And we'll call it real and modeled data. Okay, so if we give our polyfit function to create coefficients to give to uh, poly1d to create a function, um, this will be a line of first order polynomial. We'll create modeled values from lin space from the min and max of our x values, a thousand points, and we just put those x values into our function to give us modeled y values, and then we plot each. And so that's what a line looks like. And then we can create a second order function and then we have a curve to it, and we can create higher order functions as well. But it doesn't really change after a second order function. We're not really getting a different shape from that. So uh, if we are just going to fit a polynomial to this, probably a second order uh, curve is not that bad. So that's how to use uh, PolyFit and Poly1D. PolyFit from NumPy creates the coefficients, and Poly1D creates a convenient function where you just give it x values and it spits back to you modeled y values for uh, your polynomial. But what if we wanted something more specific that wasn't a polynomial? We're definitely going to need uh, to create some sort of trigonomic function to capture the sinusoidal behavior of this curve. 
Um, and there's nothing as pre-packed as there is for polynomials. And so we're going to use something called curve fit um, from SciPy uh, to create a custom function. So we import uh, curve fit from SciPy optimize. And the very first thing you have to do for curve fit is you have to define a function of what your model is. So let's do that right now. We're going to define a function. Let's call it wavy because we're trying to capture that wavy behavior. And then the inputs for your function are going to be x and then the coefficients that are going to be modeled. And what you return is the y values. And in this case, what we're going to model is a the second order polynomial was a good fit, uh, but we needed to add some sinusoidal behavior. So we're going to keep an x squared with an a coefficient. There's going to be a sine function with a b coefficient and a c coefficient. And then there's going to be an intercept. So the very first thing, again, you have to do for this uh, custom model fitting function called curve fit is you have to create a function. The function's inputs are x and the coefficients. The output is y. And we're going to come back to this function as well. Not only is it needed for curve fit, but we'll need it later to interpret the curve fit uh, results. So that's our, our function wavy. And so let's now use curve fit. Curve fit gives you two different outputs back. Uh, one is going to be your coefficients. We usually call it P, O, P, T. And the other we're not really going to worry about. It's a covariance matrix. It's just called P, C, O, V. But we're interested in this first one, which is your coefficients. But you need to capture the second one, even though we're not going to use it for our purposes. So we use uh, curve fit. The inputs for curve fit are your function, uh, y value, x values, y vowels, And this is the bare minimum. For curve fit, you have to give it your function because it needs to know what it's trying to model. And then you give it your actual data that is used for the modeling, which is the x vowels and the y vowels. But you also sometimes need to initiate the model. And you kind of need to give it kind of close guesses uh, to try to create the most optimized model. This is especially true when you're dealing with trigonomic uh, functions. And so we need to provide some uh, first, uh, some just first guesses of what these coefficient values will be. So we're going to use 4, 4, 5.7, and 350 as first guesses for A, B, C, and D. And again, this is especially important if you're working uh, with trigonomic functions. So curve fit takes your function, so you need to define a function with x values, coefficients, returning y values. You provide curve fit a function, x values, y values, and then you provide it a series of first guesses. And then it spits back to you two outputs. We're interested in the first output, and those are your coefficient values. So we unpack the list of uh, the first one, and those are our coefficients. And we'll have B, C, and D. So we just unpack these outputs, these coefficients. And there you go. Uh, we have calculated the coefficients. And so we're going to do something very similar uh, to what we did for the polynomial. Uh, we're going to create uh, modeled x values and y values. And again, our model x values, we're going to lose, use lin space. We're going to go from the minimum of uh, the x values to the maximum, 1,000 uh, points. And then we, the way we get our y values is we go back to our function. Again, this function is very central because this is what we're trying to, to model. So we call up our function. We give it the x values, 
and then we give it the, the coefficients that we calculated. So a lot like polyfit, um, we're using this to calculate our coefficients, but we have to use our custom function in order to retrieve the y values back. And then let's take a look at uh, how this looks. We're going to create a graph of our real data, x values and y values. And then we're going to create on superimpose upon this our modeled x values and y values. And let's take a look at how that looks. <clears throat> and so there you go. Uh, you can see that actually our model does a very good job <coughs> of approximating the real data. Our real data is in blue, and we've superimposed on orange uh, the modeled y value. So let's just review this again. If you're going to create a custom function using curve fit, you first have to define the function. The function that you're going to use is x values with your coefficients, and then you return the y values. You use curve fit, you provide it the function, x values, y values, and first guesses if it's necessary, especially if it's a trig function. And then <coughs> there are two elements to catch, and it's the first one, POPT, that we're most interested in too. We unpack POPT as a list for our different coefficients, and then uh, we can create modeled data. We create x values, and we use our function itself with the um, modeled x values and the coefficients we just calculated. And then we can see how well our custom model conforms um, to our actual data. So that's um, a little bit about curve fitting. Um, and so what did we learn today? We learned two ways to fit curves. The first is uh, how to fit, fit uh, polynomials. This is using the NumPy polyfit function. Uh, we use it to model coefficient values for a polynomial. All we do is we give polyfit x data, y data, and uh, we set the degree of the polynomial we would like to fit. It's going to give you coefficients for the order of the polynomial you specified back, and you can then put these into NumPy Poly1D. Now Poly1D will immediately create a, a function using the coefficients and all you do is put x values in that function and you'll get modeled y values back. Curve fit is used if you need to create a custom model, usually when it's not a polynomial. The central part of curve fit is that you have to create a custom function that reflects the model. The function takes inputs of x and your coefficients and it returns the y values. Then into curve fit, you put the function, x values, y values, and if necessary, a first guess. Uh, for what uh, your coefficient values should be. Curfit returns the, the modeled coefficient values. You put these back into the function that you wrote along with the coefficient values and x values, and it will give you back modeled y values. And you should always be graphing to see how well your model data conforms to uh, the real data, and then modify as necessary. That's all for this video. Thanks for listening.